Right now, Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith takes us to the causeway to catch some specks. Well, this week on Fox and Outdoors, we're out here on an ideal fall morning. What are the ingredients for a good morning of fall fishing? Well, a falling tide, a little bit of cloud cover, and one of these cool snaps always gets the fish in a biting mood. The fish were hitting a little bit of everything. It started out fast as the light fog settled over the upper bay. Captain Chip Dupree hooks a nice speckled trout on a topwater plug. Meanwhile, I hook a good one on an artificial bait called gulp. It's an imitation shrimp under a popping cork. I told you! We started locating them with these, uh, whoa, look at this! Watch out for the double gulp rig. Whoa, look at that trout, Chip! That was, dude! Is big. Yeah, look at this double we got going on here. Check this out. Oh, big boy. Oh, that's just about right, right there. Look at that fine trout. Falling tide. That's bigger than yours. Yeah, he is. Nice fish, though, about 20 inches. Good that, it's good that there's more people out here that release these fish than there used to be. These are, the, these are the size fish you really want to let go. She's just going to make a lot of babies. Cool weather pushes the shrimp off the flats and into the channels. Look for birds. Seagulls often hover over areas where the fish are feeding. Cloud cover or light fog can extend the morning bite until mid-morning. October is right around the corner, and this is the best month for inshore species like speckled trout and redfish. For Fox 10 Outdoors, I'm meteorologist Jason Smith.